Run. Well, hello, friends. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day six, and I have some stuff to show you guys and chat about before we get going for the day. First of all, we have opened up our mine shaft a little bit. Uh, as you can see, we've got lead down here in case you missed the last episode. Also, we are taking this just two blocks high, one block wide, straight east, trying to hit some iron over there. So that's what's going on with that. We got a good amount of stone last night, which we're going to start using soon because we are going to, as one of our goals for the day, be crafting a cement mixer. Uh, basically, all this stuff is really easy that we need, minus the engine. We just need to wrench some cars to try and get that. Hopefully we get lucky because I would love to get one of those crafted today. We are also sitting on uh, almost 5k coin, and I believe we're going to need about 12k to buy our motorcycle. So I'm really, really going to try and get as close as we can today because I'm tired of going places on foot. And uh, I just uh, discovered something kind of fun a little while ago that I figured I'd share with you guys. So you can sell paint paintbrushes for 44 coin, right? Which isn't bad if you find one, but you can actually craft a paintbrush from one leather and one wood. Wood is obviously extremely easy to acquire. It has no sell price. And one leather sells for four. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there's a limit to how many the trader will actually buy. I've never tried to make money like this before, but just for funsies, just for the sake of science, we are going to throw some leather in here. Once we go over to the trader, we're going to craft it down into paintbrushes and sell it until the trader stops buying it as paintbrushes because, you know, why not? Uh, we do need to do something with our uh, fighting entrance over here, though. We are going to start getting dogs very soon for Horde Night. And dogs are a big old problem for us because they can get through this type of defense system. So what I think we're going to try and do is put a plate on top here, which we will still be able to pass under. But that should be just enough of a gap close that the dogs shouldn't be able to pass through over the hatch uh, and underneath the plate. So I think that's going to save us. We just have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't break because it will be taking damage, but that's just fine. Let's throw our cobble back in there for now. And I think that was everything. Nope, one more thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, I did spend our skill point from last night and I put it into Lucky Looter. Other than that, we are all caught up. So let's go out and start making some money, looking for cars to wrench so we can get that engine to make our spent mixer. And we're going to be starting over to the southwest on this quest that we picked up from Jen. Well, I got a little sidetracked there. Wrenched a couple cars. No engine, unfortunately. Uh, but we are here. So let's go ahead and start this quest because, again, I'm not going to be double looting. Um, hello? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, somebody's home. Let's uh, just close that door. Throw a frame down real quick. I think. Ah, I hate blinking, flashing lights. Give me your electrical parts and stop plaguing me with your existence. Because we are so close to home, I'm going to use a technique today that I don't usually use, where you just create a storage chest, kind of dump all the stuff you're finding in there to save you from being encumbered while you're exploring, and uh, then on the way out, you just grab all the good stuff and uh, just jog your sweet ass back home. I know I've got more than one friend down here. Bring it. There you are. Alright, let's get back behind the door. Nice. All right, we're totally clear down here. Let's find all the good stuff. All right, a couple of good finds so far. We got two acid, which is great. Only two more, and we'll have enough for our chemistry station. And we also found a beaker. Granted, we already had one, so it's not a huge deal, but uh, still an excellent find. We can throw that one in our cooking fire. Uh, just to open up its options a little bit more. 
All right, time to head upstairs. I'm gonna take this moderately fast. Well, hi! Ho oh, ho ho! Sneaky, sneaky boy! Ho oh, oh, ho! Clip through the wall there. That was some advanced level techniques, literally defying physics, because my determination was so strong. You've had enough. There you go. All right, let's get back upstairs then. Hello. Hi, there you are. I was wondering what was happening there. All right, we can do this on foot. We are at that point. Excellent. That is the quest complete. Let's wrench this fan. See what's upstairs. What kind of goodies we can find. And uh, I think rather than running over to Jen's and picking up another quest, we're just going to keep on looting as much as we possibly can in this town. Uh, because I really, really want to make... 8,000 gold today. If we can do that, I will be very, very happy. Uh, we got some stuff in there that's decent. Mostly ammo. Uh, but we did get our impact brace mod on our boots, which is nice. This is going to increase the amount, or the distance that we can fall without taking notable damage. Which is just kind of a nice thing, because uh, seriously, breaking your leg is like the worst thing ever. Oh, look at that. There's a an inaccessible room. Let's grab this bed in this AU, AC unit and uh, get back home real quick. Alright, I know where I would like to go next. And we found a couple of Mega Crushes earlier. So we are going to be able to get there quite a bit faster. This is called Mega Crush that we're currently on. And as you can see, it increases your run speed pretty substantially, which is kind of fun. Uh, but we started this POI. That might have been last episode. I just kind of poked our head in the door. It's this house right here. And we are just going to speed loot this place as fast as we possibly safely can. And uh, see what kind of goodies we can find. I wonder if our friends are still dead. I would imagine they haven't respawned yet. So that'll save us a little bit of time and effort. Ooh, storage pocket mod. It is a unfortunate we've gone this far without finding any. Uh, but I'll take a level one. You know, it's a good start. Oh, hi. Jesus. Not ideal. Not ideal. Time to back up. Asshole. Asshole. That was scary. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, level 5 blunderbuss and some ammo. That's a pretty decent find right there. I guess we have no choice but to drop down here. Which is a little scary, but... We'll be okay. This is dangerous. If we take one more hit, I'll pop a painkiller, but right now I still think we're doing fine. Um, I'm gonna sell that. I'd rather have the coin, and I rarely ever use trigger mods. I just don't find them necessary. <laughs> oh my gosh, these one-shots, dude. The game's still on insane difficulty. Nothing's changed. We're just... We're just that much of a beast, I guess. It's something good. Ooh, weapons bag. More blunderbuss, more blunderbuss ammo, more good stuff. We can sell those. Back in your closet. Hi. <laughs> that was not the smartest way to do that, but it's just, I, I couldn't help myself. Let's go ahead and pop a painkiller. It's no big deal. We have plenty of them. I think that's actually maybe the first healing item we've used this whole playthrough and we have some water on us to compensate for the thirst <laughs> double nine millis in the toilet dude that's sick i don't know if we'll actually end up using either of those as i've said before i'm not a huge fan of nine millimeter weapons but we can scrap both of those into pistol parts and sell them 
Just getting us closer and closer to our goals for the day. Oh shit, we just got the final two acid that we need for our workbench or our uh, chemistry station. That is excellent, excellent, excellent. Really good luck there. Finding your five acid can take a long time, but we are all done with that now. Let's go ahead and take apart all these kitchen appliances as usual. I haven't even had my lucky looter glasses on this whole time. Uh, not a big deal at all, but they are on now. So hopefully we get some really good stuff. All right, we're coming up on the final loot room. And I believe that path over there takes us back to the garage. So we've probably got more than one friend here. Yes, we do. I really should have prepared better for this. I'm going to go find a doorway because that is a little bit more than I want to deal with right now. Holy shit. Uh, give me a doorway I can close. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> that was a bit sketchy. Let's just let the old stamina regen for a second before we open that bad boy up. That should be good. Let's go, boys. We are risking it today, but you know what that means. That means we're going to get the biscuit. Because that is how science works. And I'll be damned if I don't believe in science. Hi, stupid. <laughs> you stuck on the spikies? I'll come around and kill you. Here is the main loot. We've got some ammo. Everybody's least favorite type of crate, Shamway Foods. Yeah, plastic, at least we can sell that. And let's see what's in the main box. We got a level 6 bow, that's kind of cool. A uh, level 4 knife, that's technically an upgrade. I think these are... Let's, let's get out of here real quick. Um, yeah, those might be an upgrade. I think we're going to switch over to the scrap gloves. Nice, I'll get those thrown on. Uh, get our inventory sorted and get back home real quick. Damn, boys, it's already hour 15. I don't think we are going to be able to get the motorcycle today, but that is okay. We got a whole bunch of good stuff to sell. We got through two full POIs really, really quickly. So why don't we head over to Jen's, sell everything we've got, so just kind of assess the situation financially, and uh, see if we can find some more cars to wrench before the horde gets here and find that engine we need so we can at least get our cement mixer crafted. And after that, I'm feeling pretty confident we'll be able to get our motorcycle tomorrow, which I like. Ah, we got the schematic for an improved fittings mod. That's pretty cool. Let's get those out of the inventory. Uh, I think I'll actually learn that one. That's a pretty decent mod. Let's go ahead and sell all of this junk. Check her quests. We got a close by fetch quest. Let's go ahead and take that. Back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. So she bought one paintbrush so far. Let's craft like four more. See how many of these she'll actually buy. Alright, that's two. Three. Alright, she'll buy a maximum of three paintbrushes per reset. Well, you know, that's still helpful to know. All I think right, I'll actually then. craft one more. Stay and then when she resets there. tomorrow, we'll have three more to sell her. You know, it's not a big deal, but it's an extra, you know, 100, 130 coin. That's pretty, pretty decent. And she didn't want these radiators. We've sold her too many. We are getting real close to our goal. We're up to 9,000. And between our cigar, uh, sugar butts, if we can find some, and the grandpa's awesome sauce we bought, we should only need 12,000 coin to buy that motorcycle. So, yeah, that's 100% that's achievable tomorrow. So that is going to be the goal. Now let's get out there and find some cars to wrench. So I decided to head east instead. If I recall, there is a POI in this direction, not too far from here, that has a guaranteed engine sitting in the start of it. As long as you have a wrench, you can just wrench the engine sitting on the table, and uh, you're good to go. So assuming my memory isn't betraying me, 
we're going to have the engine that we need for the day. That's going to get us our cement mixer. And then I think we're going to try and mine some more iron before we get home. Because we need uh, just a, not even that much more, maybe like 25 more uh, forged iron. And we'll be able to craft our chemistry station, assuming I'm not forgetting anything, which is entirely possible. Uh, but that would be so sweet to get basically all of our workbenches up and running on day six. Yep, this is the place. Uh, chicken, I don't have time for you. You live today. And right in this little garage thing, there's an engine sitting on the table. Beautiful. Let's uh, try out our new bow. Although its damage should be the same as the old bow. It should just have better durability. Uh, but, okay, guess, guess we gotta do that like this. <laughs> Sneaky boy. Trying to scare me. Let's close this door just to be on the safe side. And we will come back and loot this whole place at some point. I'm gonna grab these mechanical parts though. You know, we've got some iron right here off the side of the road. We don't need all that much. I think I'm just gonna get my iron while I'm here. Because this will be slightly faster than digging out some of the dirt around our current iron mine by our house. This way we can just grab what's on the surface and move on. Alright, home sweet home. Let us get inside and look into getting this cement mixer crafted. And let's throw all of this iron we just harvested into the forge, get that cooking down. And oh, you know, I didn't even realize we already had a nice chunk of iron in there. That is more than enough. That, well, that's fantastic. Thank you, past me. Just hooking it up like a bro. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll just let this cook down, and we should be able to get our chemistry station and our cement mixer done tonight. One cement mixer, order up. And with the skill point that we got today, we are going to, before we start specking really deep into the strength tree, the last point that we're going to put in something else is flurry of blows. This is going to increase our attack speed by 10%, basically, with one-handed weapons, which clubs are... Uh, we are 14 forged iron short of starting our chemistry station, so we'll get that going right around the time the horde shows up. And other than that, I'm going to say that was a very successful day. Let's just get all of our stuff repaired. Let's get our blunderbuss brought down to our bar. And I ended up selling the higher level blunderbusses, uh, just because I'd, I'd rather sell level 5s than level 2s. There's a big price difference, but not that much of a damage difference. Um, had I found those level 5s earlier on, I would have preferred to use one of those, but we're not going to be using blunderbusses for much longer. And we found 37 shots today, so that's going to go a long way, giving us something to do when we're out of stamina. It looks like the horde is just about here. Is there anything else I am forgetting? Uh, let's grab our iron and our cobblestone out of here, just in case we need to do any repairing, or, well, we will definitely be doing some repairing. That is... A certainty to forged iron and we'll be able to start that chemistry station it takes I think close to 15 minutes to craft so that should be done right around the time we finish up the horde and let's get that bad mama jamma started let's kill some zombies oh god oh god I lit myself on fire that is going to be a thing that we need to be careful of. Uh, that fire does sit on the ground for quite some time. <laughs> Fortunately, you can put yourself out if you catch on fire just by drinking any kind of liquid beverage. Uh, so, you know, just, just something to bear in mind. What I'm wondering is, what's better to do, power attacks or light attacks when you're playing on this difficulty? Because in the past, I always just did power attacks, 
Um, and on other difficulties, the zombie's health is, you know, so low to the point that you're basically getting a one-shot every time. So Sexual Tyrannosaurus keeps your stamina full. So it's like, why not power attack? Uh, but, you know, on the difficulty that we're playing, I'm not sure if that same rule applies. Maybe I should be light attacking. It's kind of hard to say. So, you know, if you know a lot about this game, let me know. Wait to get that nail gun. It is so much better for repairing and upgrading than the little stone axe. So much better. We'll probably pick that up day after tomorrow. I think that'll be my next priority after we pick up the motorcycle. Unless we find one more shotgun part, then I'll... You know, I'm not actually feeling really pressured to get the shotgun. I'm surprisingly enjoying using our little AK. A little level 1 AK. It's just been... I feel so safe in its sweet, sweet hands. But we didn't... Oh, you know what? I wasn't even checking on the plate's health. I was just repairing this block up here, but that plate almost broke. I've got to be more mindful of that moving forward. Uh, but we didn't get any dogs, so we didn't get to test out whether or not the plate is actually going to work at deterring them from coming inside. But I get the feeling it's going to. So let's just clean up these last two. I think this is going to do it. I really didn't even have time to use any more mol Molotovs other than the one we started off with. Oh yeah, four loot bags. Get it, dude. Let's go. Um, Ammo. Decent. Very decent. We got a... Do 10% more damage with Club's book? Holy shit. And right next to the worst item in the game. Fuck off, cornmeal. Go kill yourself. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, the worst loot bag of the game. The, the classic one boiled water. And a really nice amount of cash, a little bit of ammo, and two good food. That is awesome. Uh, in case you're wondering, I don't think I've explained this yet. Uh, the fuck off cornmeal thing comes... It's a reference to a content creator here on YouTube. Glock9. Uh, if you're enjoying my 7 Days to Die content, you should absolutely go check him out and subscribe if you haven't. He is a huge inspiration to me getting back into YouTube and into editing this particular series the way that I do. Uh, so big shout out to Glock9. Love your face, bud. Uh, that'd be super cool if he came across my videos one day. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and read this book. That is awesome. That's going to make everything we do 10% better. Um, check on our workstations. We've got our cement mixer done. Three minutes left on the chem station. So let's just get all set up and organized and go from there. Boop. So for those of you who don't know, this is how the cement mixer works. It has a pretty short list of craftable items, but the general idea is that you combine one crushed sand, and you can make crushed sand out of small stones. So you combine so one small stone to one crushed sand. One of those with one small stone and one piece of cement of which we have been collecting and there's a lot more cement just sitting around in town for us to dig up and then you turn all of that into this concrete stuff and to upgrade a block past cobblestone you need 10 concrete and that'll turn it into cement blocks which are i can't remember the exact health value it might be 3500 or maybe 2500 so it's quite a bit Quite a bit more than the cobblestone. And then with another 10 cement or uh, concrete, you can upgrade it to reinforced concrete. And that takes it up to 5,000 hit points. So we're going to be trying to get these top bottom four levels up to reinforced concrete as soon as we can. But as you can see, everything basically comes from stone. Crushed sand comes from stone. You can dig up crushed sand on its own, but you can make it out of stone. Stone is obviously stone. And you can also cook stone in your forge. You can see right there, there's a little stone counter. And you can craft 12 stone into one cement. Um, so yeah, basically uh, getting lots of concrete, you just need tons and tons of rock. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Cement mixers, just about finished crafting down. We'll plop that down at the very start of the next episode. And uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of digging in the mine, and I think I'm going to go straight into another episode. Just because I'm feeling it today, and I want that motorcycle. My, my head's not touching the pillow tonight until I have a motorcycle in this Let's Play. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces, and I will see you here next time. Bye.